same government, the same Ministry of Finance, borrowed 70 million euros to buy PPEs. How do you tell me that you paid $120 million for vaccines, and out of that, only 33 million of the vaccines were supplied to you, but you did not demand the repayment of that money, which other institutions and foreign institutions owe you? to invest in PPEs, but you went again to go and borrow another 70 million euros just to buy consumables. PPEs are consumables. I'm talking about nose masks. That is what a, PPEs are. Nose masks and all these things. Gloves and all these things that are health practitioners wear. You borrow 70 million to buy it. And do you know why they do those kind of things? They are not interested in pursuing the one that is lost because there is an incentive to take loans in Ghana. And what has been the incentive to take loans in Ghana? For six years, we have a finance minister who I have indicated here on this platform has put his bank at the bottom of all the loans that we take. And as transaction advisor, he makes 2%, which is millions and millions of Ghana cities. So he is more inclined to taking loans in every situation than chasing our monies, which other institutions or other countries have taken from us. How do you tell me that this should be treated as any other audit report and we should just countenance it and say that politicians make points out of it? If there is anything we should not be countenance, is the attitude we put up here where people, the obvious people who are causing the public to fail, are in front of us, and instead of us calling them out, naming and shaming their hypocrisy, their thievery at the expense of the people of Ghana, we come here and tell people that it happened some years back, and for that matter, we should countenance this sort of behavior, we should go to the root of what? What is the root of the COVID report issue here? The root of the COVID report we have here today is that we have a finance ministry who is not bent on ensuring that our public purse is protected. How did it happen? that in the midst of COVID, certain ministry pay, ministries paid themselves up to the tune of 811 million Ghana cities as allowances for, risk, uh, for their risk in serving the country. When frontline health workers, the people we call frontline, the health workers themselves, our nurses, our doctors, our, 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 our physiotherapists, and all these people who were very essential to the fight against COVID-19, were unpaid. Within that same period, they were not paid. As I speak to you, I speak for Valentina Maofemo, and the thousands of, uh, what do you call it, nursing trainees, who for seven months have not been paid their NSS allowances, they are under the Ministry of Health, the same Ministry of Health which has paid 120 million to some agencies and have not taken the monies back. The same Ministry of Health who has given monies to uh, medical facilities in Medina, which did not fight COVID, but they gave COVID monies to them. The same Ministry of Health who gave money to uh, Ministry of Chieftaincy to share to chiefs in the midst of COVID. How do you tell me that chiefs are fighting COVID? If we need chiefs to be ambassadors to the COVID fight to encourage people to obey uh, 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 COVID-19 protocols and all those things, do you give Ministry of Health monies to them that they should fight COVID? Mm -hmm. How do you countenance all these things and tell me that if in dealing with the rot of the issues, we should go back to 2013. When in 2022, never, never when in 2022, mm. we have a finance minister who is encouraged to borrow at every chance he gets, even when we have other monies he's supposed to be pursuing and using for those things. You borrow 70 million euros for consumption expenditure. Do you know what 70 million euros can do if we had invested 70 million euros into uh, capital investment, which could bring returns for us to pay back those loans? You don't do that. When you run us into this ditch, and then at the expense of the public, you enrich yourself. The same finance minister in the midst of COVID, he was the only one who gave his institution. Enterprise insurance. We have SIC. The state insurance company was there. But finance minister Ken Ufuriata gave the insuring of the frontline health workers to his company. That short period that our frontline health workers were supposed to fight against COVID-19, their insurance, 30% of the over 10,000 uh, 10, people who were our frontline health workers, were insured by Finance Minister Ken Ophiratis Enterprise Insurance. The same enterprise insurance he is using to ensure the National Cathedral when SIC is there. Why do we have a situation in our country where a state insurance company exists, but the Finance Minister's private company is the one that insures companies in the midst of COVID-19? So if we do all these things, there is public incentive for the people who manage our purse to siphon money to their private pockets. And you ignore all this and tell me that we should go and bring, uh, blame technocrats at the Ministry of uh, Finance or technocrats at the Ministry of Health. How do you blame technocrats at the Ministry of Health when the political decision, the one who calls the shots, the one who gives the direction as to what can be done and what cannot be done. In fact, the political appointee has the power to impress upon the president to cause for the removal of some of those people, if not for anything. If indeed they are corrupt and the political appointee himself is not corrupt, he could recommend to the Public Services Commission that this and this person are corrupt and for that matter the Public Service Commission should see to their removal from office. Why in Jesus' name are you telling me that those corrupt, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 permanent officials or civil servants are there and the politician is not corrupt but the people are there and he works with them and they make the monies together. What are you telling me? How, what, what sort of hypocrisy is this?
What sort of public hypocrisy mm. on a national scale is this? That you tell me that the technocrats are the I, ones who are corrupt and the, okay. the, the, the political appointees are not and corrupt, but they work together on all these issues. You can't tell me this. You gave him almost nine minutes, and I want to... I didn't give him nine minutes. You know what?